Hello friends, I am Dr. Madhu Sharma, HOD MCA uh, from Vyani Group of Colleges. On behalf of Guru KPU welcomes you. Today I am going to deliver a lecture on analysis of problem characteristics. We can see before applying a particular method or technique to solve a problem, we need to analyze a problem keenly. There are few key dimensions on the basis of that we need to analyze a problem before applying a particular method. Especially for uh, solving hard problems, we need to find which heuristic search technique is best or appropriate to solve that problem. We can see here the few key dimensions uh, on the basis of uh, those we can decide that which method is appropriate. The very first point is that we need to analyze whether the problem is decomposable means we, we shall analyze whether we can decompose that problem in sub-problems or not. So on the basis of this dimension, we can categorize the problem as decomposable or non-decomposable. Second key dimension is that uh, can solution steps be ignored? Means while solving a problem, is it possible that we can ignore few of the steps or the steps are really very important or backtracking is possible. So on the basis of this key dimension, we can categorize the problem in three categories. On the basis of this, we can categorize the problem into ignorable, recoverable and irrecoverable. In case of ignorable problems or solution, we can ignore few of the steps if possible. Means those steps are not so much important during the problem solution. In case of recoverable kind of problems, we can have the facility of backtracking whenever we feel that the previous already executed steps are need to be backtracked then we can do that in case of irrecoverable problems we we don't have the facility to go for backtracking so we need to plan it very carefully the solution has to be planned very carefully before solving it the third dimension is whether the universe is predictable or not means are we able to get a certain outcome or an uh, uncertain outcome is there. Means while solving that problem, are we assured that what output is supposed to get after applying that particular step? Or we are not assured that we are going to get what output after applying that step? Next, we can have the next dimension as, is a good solution absolute or relative? Means we can find the solution uh, we can have a, an optimum solution or we are concerned with the best solution. So on the basis of that, we need to apply the best research search techniques which can provide you the best solutions. Next dimension is, is the solution a state or path? Means we need to have a set of steps to reach to the goal state or the goal state is singly, simply a point. So this has to be analyzed in advance. Next key point is, what is the role of knowledge? Means how much knowledge is required to constrain the search or direct the search? Means in what way we need to represent the knowledge to reach the best optimum solution? The next key dimension is that does solution require human interaction or intervention? Means is our system capable of handling everything automatically or a human interaction is required in between? Means on the basis of that we can categorize the problem solution into category, two categories that is solitary or conversational. In solitary we don't need any human interaction and in conversational we need a human interaction. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For more details you can visit gurukpu.com.